Hi, I'm Jeff from New York. Please like and subscribe. Young Billionaire, Episode 82, Love at First Sight. What are you doing? Don't be silly. He doesn't look like the person you're talking about. Look at his clothes. He doesn't look much better than a beggar on the street. Remelin said. She had a poor impression of Jeff, mainly due to the way he was glaring at her. It didn't cross her mind that she was the one who had teased him first and that his glare was perfectly justified. Just stop talking for a minute. Elisa said as she glanced at Remelin. Then she looked at Jeff and said. Hello, Jeff. Sorry, I'm leaving. Jeff didn't like Remelin either and he had assumed that her friend must be as unpleasant as she was. He started to walk away. Now look what you've done. Elisa grumbled as she glanced at Remelin. Then she grabbed her friend's hands and they followed him. Jeff felt thirsty, and as he walked past the cafeteria, he decided to get himself a cold drink. After the server had handed him his lemonade, he tried to swipe his meal card on the machine, but it wasn't accepted. Unfortunately, this canteen had only accepted meal cards or cash. Jeff had thrown all his cash at the driver the other day to take him and Lelaine to the hospital to see her mom. He didn't have any left to pay for the drink, Oh no, I'm sorry, I don't. Jeff was about to leave in embarrassment when he heard a beep from the machine beside him. He turned his head and saw that it was Remelin's friend who had paid. The girl was slim, with snow white skin and bangs framing her forehead. Her eyes were big and full of spirit. She had a straight nose and thin pink lip. She looked very delicate. She smiled shyly at him. Jeff didn't understand why she was paying for him, but he wanted to thank her. Remelin pulled Elisa away from the canteen and said with a frown. Why are you paying for him? He was just bragging about having all that money. He said that he had over a million in the bank and that he has a Ferrari, but he can't even pay for a soda. I think he's crazy. You shouldn't pay him any attention. Even if Jeff was the one who had saved Elisa that night, Remelin didn't think much of him. She didn't believe that he was as rich and powerful as Elisa thought. She thought he was just a bragger and a loser. Shut up, Remelin. Hearing what she said, Elisa started to get annoyed. She didn't care if Jeff had been bragging on the phone just a moment ago. To her, he was still her hero. Jeff became suspicious when he heard Remelin's words. He wondered, What does she mean by don't pay him any attention? She's reminding me of Jonah and Diane. When the two of them had been paying me attention, they'd both been thinking of ways to cheat me out of money. Could it be that this seemingly harmless friend of Remelin is also after my money? It's possible. After all, quite a few people in the school know that I donated more than $100,000 to the charity. Thinking about this, Jeff couldn't help but feel a little angry. He didn't want to be cheated by any woman, no matter how pretty they were. Any woman who was only paying him attention because of his money was ugly to him. He put the lemonade glass on the counter, turned and walked out of the canteen. Elisa started to follow him. She wasn't aware of what Jeff had been through with Jonah and Diane, so she couldn't understand why he was being so rude to her. Jeff picked up a higher bike on campus and headed to his dorm so that he could get rid of Elisa and the others. To his surprise, Elisa also got a bike and started following him. Hey, wait a moment. Elisa cried. She was crazily pedaling her bike after him. She rarely rode a bike so her posture was very awkward. Jeff ignored her and continued to ride very fast. Please stop, I have something to tell you. With a great effort, Elisa finally caught up with him. She tilted her head and panted as she spoke. Jeff didn't even look at her, but continued to pedal. He cycled away and left her far behind. Wait for me, why are you pedaling so quickly? Elisa pleaded and pedaled as quickly as she could, but the gap between them was getting bigger and bigger. Jeff didn't feel sorry for her. I know that this girl is only talking to me to trick me out of money. He thought. Why should I give her a chance to do that? When they arrived at the square in front of the library, Jeff heard a clinging sound behind him. He quickly turned around and saw that Elisa bike had landed on the grass and that she had fallen on top of it. As he saw this, he started to feel a little guilty. After all, Elisa had fallen because she was trying to catch up with him. Jeff looked at Elisa lying on the grass. He realized that he'd acted badly and his heart softened. Finally, he turned around and rode to where she had fallen. He propped up his bike and walked over to her. Elisa said angrily to him. 
Why did you keep running away from me? Go away. It's too late now. Get lost. He asked, Are you okay? Would you feel okay in my position? What do you think? She answered, staring at him from the ground. Jeff sighed and reached out his hand to her. She looked at his outstretched hand. Although she was still angry with him, she took it and he pulled her up off the grass. Are you okay? Jeff asked again, holding her up. My ankle hurts a little. She replied. Her attitude had also softened toward him. Jeff supported the limping girl as they slowly walked to a rock by the side of the road. Slow down. He told her. Because of his kindness, Elisa started to feel happier. My ankle hurts. Maybe you could help me massage it. Elisa requested gently as she looked into his eyes. Jeff couldn't turn down such a pretty girl. It was my fault that she fell off her bike after all. He thought. I'll just give her ankle a quick rub. Jeff squatted down in front of Elisa. He held her foot in his hands and gently rubbed her ankle. A few male students who were relaxing and reading books on the lawn close by saw the scene. They couldn't concentrate on their reading as they couldn't help but watch this boy rubbing the girl's foot. The girl sitting on the rock was so beautiful. She was perfect and delicate. Who wouldn't want to take care of her? But the guy was dressed in ordinary clothes. He looked like a total loser. And she was letting him rub her feet. The boys who were watching felt jealous and annoyed. They all wanted to be rubbing the feet of this beautiful girl. How is it? Jeff raised his head and asked kindly. There is still a little pain. Elisa replied softly. At first she thought Jeff was a tough, straightforward man. But now it seemed that he had a delicate and gentle side to him. Her good impression of him deepened. Jeff was still squatting on the ground, carefully rubbing her feet. When Elisa suddenly asked. What do you think of me? What do you mean? He stopped and looked at her curiously. If you like me after all, why don't we go on a date? Elisa thought Jeff liked her too. For her, it had been love at first sight. The first time she had seen him, she wanted to go out with him. Um. Jeff put her foot down. He gave her a small smile and stood up. It was just as he thought. She did have an ulterior motive for wanting to get closer to him. He had never met Elisa before. He thought. We've known each other for less than an hour. And yet, she says she has feelings for me. Does she like me, or is she only after my money? Jeff smiled and slowly turned around to leave. Hold on. Elisa stood up from the rock anxiously and pulled him back. I want to be your girlfriend. What's wrong with that? Elisa was used to men pursuing her. This was the first time she had to proposition a man. She couldn't believe he was rejecting her. How could she not be angry? The boys on the grass who'd been secretly watching them were shocked. How could this beautiful goddess fall in love with a loser? And ask him out, he looked like a nobody. What did this girl see in him? What are you talking about? We've known each other for less than an hour, and I don't even know your name. But you say, you want to be my girlfriend. Do you think I'm stupid? Jeff asked Elisa with a sneer on his face. I was careless. My name is Elisa. Do you think I'm lying to you? I'm not. She explained quickly. And actually we have met before. We've met before? Jeff was surprised. Such a pretty girl. If he had seen her before, he would remember her. Yes. Not only have we met, but you did me a huge favor. She said and told him all about what had happened that day. Only then did Jeff start to remember the incident. As he was rushing in a car to the hospital to see Lelaine's mother, he had knocked over the boy who was bothering her. On that day, I thought it was all over. Fortunately, you appeared in time and saved me. I really wanted to see you again, so I tracked you down and came to Peston University to find you. I understand. Jeff nodded slowly. Only then did he believe that Elisa was not after his money. Just at that moment, Remelin quickly walked up to them. She hadn't taken a bike, but had following them on foot, and she had seen Elisa lying on the grass. She was worried as she asked her friend. Are you okay? Elisa ignored her. As her gaze was focused on Jeff's face, she asked him. So, would you like to date me? Elisa was still very confident. She was sure that he would want to go out with her now that the misunderstanding was resolved. You're asking him out? But he's a loser. Remelin couldn't understand her friend. However, she didn't know how stubborn she was. 
If Elisa had set her mind on something, she knew that she could do nothing to change it. Remelin pointed at Jeff and said, I'm warning you. Don't take advantage of Elisa. You think too much of yourself. I know you're only after one thing. I don't want to go out with her. Jeff replied calmly. You know Elisa way too good for you. And yet you still think you could go out with her. You're unbelievable. Remelin berated Jeff for a while before realizing that he had said, I don't want to. She was stunned. In her opinion, Elisa was so desirable that no man in his right mind would ever turn her down. Remelin couldn't help but look over at Elisa, only to see her biting her lip. She looked close to tears. August 2023, Top Super Thanks Purchasers. Thank you so much.